Thanks, Josh. Next to the podium, we go to Northwestern College in Orange City, Iowa, and head coach, Matt McCarty. Yeah, I would like to echo the thanks of the, the previous coaches and, and especially thank uh, Corey and Lucas. Uh, they do an outstanding job. This is an awesome day uh, for, our, for our conference and for our coaches as we, we get a kickoff another football season, another fall, and just another school year in general. And uh, it's great to get together and, and visit with the coaches before we, we get into practices. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, our SID, uh, Matt Boss. He does an outstanding job for our entire athletic department, uh, as well as our program. He's a pretty good guy for being a Bears fan. Um, I'd like to thank our, our coaching staff. Uh, those guys do an awesome job uh, as the coaching staff. Defensively, it's the same guys that I've coached with at Northwestern for a, for a long, long time. Uh, and we've had the, pretty much the same staff for the last three years. Uh, they're a great group of men uh, to work alongside and, and to coach with. Uh, they really care about our players, they love our players, and, and they want those guys to be their best. And uh, it's fun to work with those guys each and every day. Uh, we're, we're really excited about this fall. Uh, we returned seven starters offensively, seven starters defensively from a team that went 10 and 2 last year uh, and was a really young team. But what, what really excites me the most about our team and our program is the commitment that our guys uh, have had to who they're becoming every day uh, every, as individuals and as a team. Uh, our guys, our young men deserve a lot of credit for their commitment to who we were trying to be uh, when we had three wins and we didn't get to see those results on the scoreboard uh, that year, but they continue to uh, work hard uh, to care for one another and, and really focus on getting better every day and uh, they're a fun group to work with. Uh, we have an awesome group of kids. You know last last year was it was a fun year you know making the quarterfinals was a was a successful season on the field uh, but I'm also proud of our guys for being a, an NAI scholar team and that's really proud of the work our guys do and, and uh, off the field as well and uh, you know I was, I was proud of our guys I was able to take a trip with our guys over spring break and do a service partnership with them in Jacksonville, Florida over spring break. And so we have an awesome group of men, uh, both on and off the field. And it's fun to work with those guys uh, each and every day. Uh, last fall, it was fun to be able to represent our conference well. Uh, outside the league, we were able to beat two conference champs last year. Uh, it was fun to not, we knocked off Dickinson State 38-3 uh, to three early in the year and then be able to go on the road and beat Langston 55-7. to seven. Uh, I think those two wins were a tribute to our league and to how deep our league is. And as you hear these coaches talk about their teams, uh, that's something that this conference continues to get better. And week in and week out, you're prepared very, very well. And, and you see some really good teams and some really good talent. Uh, and these coaches, st coaching staff do an outstanding job. Um, offensively, we return seven starters. It starts up front for us. Uh, we return three starters up front in Paxton Dehan. Uh, All-conference player in Brad Mould and Graham Kanavi, who started as a, a redshirt freshman at center. Uh, we returned Tyson Coymack, quarterback, uh, who had an outstanding year as a freshman, won 10 games as a freshman, uh, and finished in the top 10 in the country in total offense. Uh, it's been fun to see him just continue to grow and, and really grasp our offense and our scheme uh, from his from his first you know games as a freshman throughout last spring. Uh, Jacob Caligonis returns at running back. I, I believe Jacob finished fourth in the country in rushing last year. Uh, he'll be a junior, and it's fun to see him continue to grow as a running back. Uh, this is a kid that you know didn't really play a lot of running back coming out of high school and has really grown each and every year. Uh, so you see him get more and more comfortable back there. Uh, on the outside we return, uh, Jared Nelson will be a senior. Jared had some really big games for us last fall. Uh, and then Shane Solberg in the slot. And Shane had, uh, he was a kind of a playmaker for us as a freshman. Uh, he may have been our best offensive player in the spring. Uh, so we're really excited to see him just continue to contribute offensively. Um, defensively, we returned seven starters. Uh, up front, Nate Bennett was an all-conference uh, defensive lineman for us. Uh, and Jed Van Hoff played defensive end. Uh, Jed really came on late. He had four sacks in our two playoff games. Uh, so we're excited just to see him continue to grow and improve. Uh, we returned high school teammates, Sean Powell and Tanner Mahashek at linebacker. Uh, they're, they're two of the best linebackers that we've probably had. And they, they do an outstanding job. And, you know, we're really looking forward to those two guys just continuing to get better and be leaders for our defense. Uh, in the secondary, Logan Richards, a returning three-year starter at corner. Uh, Darren Graham started as a freshman last year at corner. 
Uh, and then Bryceman Week at Safety, who, who led the country in interceptions last year. Uh, and then in the secondary, well, I had two of them. Uh, Garrett Seiler played the first three weeks for us before he got hurt and missed the rest of the year. Uh, Garrett had an outstanding spring, uh, was really probably our best defensive player uh, throughout spring football. Um, and then there were some really good freshmen coming in, and it's, a, it's an outstanding class. Uh, it's a very talented class that uh, we're not afraid to put freshmen on the field. If they're our best players, uh, they're going to compete and get out there. Uh, we, we feel like this is one of our deepest teams, talent-wise. Uh, and so we're really excited to get practices started and get to work and, and see how things shake out as guys continue to compete with each other. Uh, we have an awesome group of young men, uh, a group of men who care about each other. It's a very close-knit team. Uh, they love to push each other. They love to work hard. Uh, and they really, really focus on being their best every day. And it's, it's fun to see them uh, attack every day with that mentality. So we're, we're really excited about this fall to start. Any questions? All right, thanks.